friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. My, 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 has it been busy this past week. And not all that much working on the instruments as much as just around the farm here trying to get caught up on things. I quit accepting instruments a couple of months ago, as you know, and I had a gigantic list of things to do here on the farm that I've been putting off. I've still got about four big ones left. And so I'm working on them like crazy. And partly it's that rental house. Uh, I, you know, I've been just procrastinating starting the plumbing job on that because it is a horrendous job. But I broke ground yesterday and got started. All that to say is I don't really want to take the time it's going to take to put out a real nice video on the mandolin. The only thing I've done to it is stain it and finish it that's a long drawn out process and I also want to leave an element of surprise there for the customer so I don't really want to you know leak it all out and show what it's going to look like here till the very end and it's going to take a couple of more weeks before it's completely dry enough to buff out and string up anyway I'll just tell you it does look real nice I think I think it looks real good and I have another little surprise on the mandolin that I want to show the customer at the very end too. That So I'm kind of keeping everybody in suspense and I apologize for that. Uh, because of the time factor, I'm going to do a real short video on a Fender guitar that came in more than a year ago. It came in September of 2016. And uh, I've got tons of video that are just in the backwaters here that have never made it to the air. So hopefully you'll enjoy the mystery buzz on the Fender guitar, and uh, thank you for watching. Hello friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Got a Fender guitar with a mystery buzz. This came in before, actually, and uh, I uh, fixed the, the what I thought was the buzz, and it sounded like it to me. Um, it was buzzing off of this saddle. And uh, it's a deer antler saddle that I put on years ago, but it was buzzing off the front of the saddle. And uh, so I fixed that, and I got rid of the buzz in my ear. The lady still says it's buzzing like crazy, so I, I don't hardly hear it, i got to be honest. She's saying the B string is buzzing. I, I really don't. Um, I did the first time. I heard the buzz right off that saddle. What I just noticed though is, look at there, um, the bridge seems to be coming off this thing and uh, it goes under there pretty far. I don't know if you can see how far, but it's probably going under there a half inch, <laughs> close to it. It's going under it that far, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't, it's hard to get it in the camera, but uh, you can see here, I got, there's my finger, pull it down, it's, it's under there that far. So it's, the bridge is coming off really bad. So we will uh, attempt to fix that. There is electronics in this guitar, but based on what I can see from the inside, it looks to me like the pickup has been taken out of it and is just taped up on the inside. So this saddle that I had made years ago is sitting in a holder, if you will, that goes down in the slot, which is never a good thing. But anyway, that's what we had to work with. But if she's not using the electronics, we'll make a new saddle perhaps and, and fill the whole slot here or figure it out. Anyway, we're going to start off with uh, figuring out how to fix the bridge and uh, we'll put some new strings on it and see what we have when, when we have it. <laughs> Now, I'm really sure wherever this one's going. We'll just see how it progresses. Well, once again, I was talking to the camera and it wasn't on. <laughs> Trying to catch up on here now is what did I tell you in the last segment that you didn't see? Well, anyway, um, I mentioned, I believe, that this guitar, this saddle was sitting in a holder. Well, here's the holder. It sits in there like so. And then this fits down in this slot like this. And there's a pickup that goes under there or whatever. Well, I'm sure some knucklehead was in the boss's office at Fender and saying, hey boss, if we put this little stupid piece of plastic in there to hold the saddle, we'll save, you know, one dollar on every guitar that we make and, uh, you know, it'll make us rich. And whatever the result was, that was the result. And, uh, 
you know, it was a bad idea, no matter how you slice it, in my opinion. Putting plastic in around your saddle is just a dumb idea. So that's the best way I can put it. I could put it a lot of other ways. The um, bridge is uh, really loose. I haven't put any heat on it at all, and I can stick this thing under there a good half inch in all kinds of places. So I'm going to go ahead and get the heat out and put it on here, and we'll pop this bridge right off. Came off pretty darn clean, not too bad at all. Once again, you can see that there's no glue around this outer edge at all. Um, you know, it's just amazing that they stay on with the little bit of glue that they put on them at all. Uh, it did chip out a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. It's, it's about the thickness of a human hair, a little bit more maybe. So I think we're gonna see this bridge as a total loss. Uh, even though it's really nothing wrong with it, we could put it back on there. But because of that giant slot that they've got slopped in here for, uh, for that uh, holder, that plastic holder, you know, I don't want to uh, put that back on here since I've got this off. It doesn't take me very long to make a brand new bridge. I'm just going to make a brand new bridge, cut the proper slot in it, set the intonation correctly, and we'll be off to the races. It's been overnight. We've let the uh, Fender guitar sit and uh, cure with the new bridge that I made for it. And uh, so now we'll uh, take the clamps off and see what we ended up with. Of course, we still have to make a saddle slot for it. Okay, you can see I have two strings hooked up on this and on the new bridge and uh, I have a temporary saddle just sitting on top of the bridge just to uh, test the intonation. Got it to pitch. Intonation appears to be perfect there. Appears to be perfect there. So I'm going to mark these two locations. Uh, underneath these strings, draw a straight line across there, and then we'll route a slot in there to put the saddle. I think you can see that I've got my jig all set up here to cut the binding slot. I have a spacer that's already attached that I'll remove later, and that'll move the slot back a little bit. So basically, I'm cutting the front of the slot first. I think we're ready to cut it, so here we go. Okay, off camera, what I did was I deepened it and I cut the same slot again. Now, um, I'm down quite a bit, uh, about as deep as I need to go, and uh, I'm in uh, almost 200 thousandths, 195 thousandths deep, so that's good. I like it like that. This is a pretty thick bridge, so that's good. And... Now we'll take off the, uh, we took off the shim here, so that will move it back and we'll cut the same slot again. We have to just go really slow on this because we're cutting 200 thousandths deep and cutting almost the width of the, of the cutter. Now you may notice that the wood down inside there is bright yellow. And the reason for that is, and maybe you can't see it, but we'll move it up closer where you can see it. Down inside that slot, you'll notice the wood is bright yellow. That is a hedge piece of wood that I cut here on the farm. It makes an excellent bridge. I've used it before. Um, it's just about as dense as uh, ebony is. And uh, I'll just dye it black and uh, put a little coat of uh, sealer over it and uh, it makes a real nice bridge. Well, I think we've got rid of the buzz. I'm uh, not sure which one of the things it was, to be honest with you. It was a kind of a weird sounding thing.
B string, so. I don't hear anything. If she still hears the buzz now, I'm going to suggest she go see a doctor. Because <laughs> there's something something buzzing in her head. Because there is just, cause I don't hear anything. I was having trouble hearing it before, but but I could hear it. So anyway, what I did to it was I leveled all the frets, recrowned them all, leveled the fretboard, oiled the fretboard, put new strings on it, put a new bridge on it because the old bridge was coming off and the old bridge had that great big wide slot with that extra gasket around there to hold the saddle, which is never a good idea. I also unplugged the wires that were inside of it. I don't believe she uses the electronics anyway. Maybe she does and we'll have to plug them back in. I don't know. But anyway, all they do is they just plug in and plug out and then they stick underneath the bridge there. Um, the actual saddle that goes under the bridge wasn't in there. They had pulled that out and it was on the inside of the guitar. So I, I don't think they were using the electronics. But anyway, it's got a very good sound and uh, it's about as good as it gets as far as I'm concerned. So. I don't know what else we could do to it. I hope she's happy.